The funny thing is, you know, sometimes I don't even know if I am a photographer. It's, it's the, the, the one thing that always seems to, uh, keeps me busy and keeps me in mind is what am I? Am I an artist? Am I a photographer? The one thing I know is I make photos. The thing that triggered me to pick up a camera, I think the most is, uh, I've, I've always been, you know, like even the tattoos, drawing, graffiti, imagery, uh, style, being outspoken about having an op opinion, you know, has always been intriguing to me. I think, yeah, I'm a little different than other photographers. And I think that has a lot to do with um, my past, growing up in group homes, special schooling, having ADHD as a kid, could never sit still. I've heard one too many times people telling me what to do. I was on parole, I had two years parole. I pretty much stumbled upon an old camera with a moldy lens and a moldy sensor. What I remember most about the picture that I made in the beginning is that I was frustrated a lot. So I set goals for myself. I have no formal education at all. I enjoyed being the underdog. I enjoyed people thinking I was not going to be anything special. I enjoyed that. So I think it took me about maybe five or six months to realize, yeah, this is something, this is something I'm going to put my effort in. And uh, I think I got my first magazine publication within a year of being, a, of making pictures and being a photographer. So at that time, I was like, you know, this is this is for me. Uh, people compared me with photographers I didn't know and I had to Google them and then I learned who they were because I never knew what photography was. I had no idea. I didn't know about uh, Robert Maplethorpe. I didn't know about Anton Corbijn. I knew Anton Corbijn's work, but I didn't know anything about photography. So I was totally blank and then I think maybe four or five months in, Anton Corbijn, he was like at a Dutch TV program and the thing he said and that struck me and that still hits me, it's still the one thing I hang on to. He said, yeah, I just want to make really nice pictures and, and that makes me happy. Taking a picture, people have forgotten. This is one thing people have forgotten about photography. It's not aperture, it's not ISO, it's not sensor, it's not anything. Photography is working with light. You have to use the light, you have to use, understand light, you have to understand darkness, you have to understand people. I get really close and I'm personal with people. You need to work with people. I don't, uh, I don't allow people to smile on my photographs because the smile is a, is a mask. If you put on a mask, you, you cannot reach a person. So I ask people to put on a blank face and then I do a Jedi mind trick like and I scratch into their soul and I try to get a connection between me, the camera and, you know, do a little magic and get to a person. But if I had to work through a smile and really catch some person's soul, look, look into somebody, that'd be really impossible. If you take a portrait photo, what's most important? Or right, the eyes must be sharp, boom. And I, I, I remind that, and that's the one thing I do. I keep the eyes sharp, boom, 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 boom. And then, you know, that becomes to be your style. You cannot hire me and tell me what to do. In reality, every picture I take, in a way, is a self-portrait. What I bring to the table, my mood, my, the way I view you, I take the picture I want to take from you. If I do my own thing, I do my own thing and I take the picture. And a lot of my psyche, the way I am, the way I think, the way I see the world is in the, in the photos. 50 to 80, 90% is me, and the rest is somebody else. It's just the way I view you. Everything I have as a person, as, a, as, as Joram, the Joram that's at home, that has a religion, that has politics, that has a favorite football club, that has a sexual orientation, all that I leave at the door when I take out and go out taking pictures. I'm blank. I don't have anything. I don't have an opinion. I can take pictures of neo-Nazis, uh, trans women, uh, HIV patients, uh, Africans, Muslims, Jews. I don't, it doesn't concern me. 
because I'm only focused about making a photograph. And f for me to do whatever I do and make a, di a diverse palette of different people, I leave everything I have that, is, that makes me Joram, the Joram my friends know, the Joram, the people that love me, the people I love know. It, it doesn't, I don't take that with me with the camera. That's not what the camera needs. The camera needs me to put me away. I need to take pictures, be a photographer. Photography and anything I do, it's not about me, it's about other people. I don't go out of the way of, of heavy stuff. I've, I had knives pulled on me. You know, I've seen, I've seen some heavy shit. I've done a lot of last pictures of, of people who are, have weeks or maybe months or days to live. The one thing that connects them all, they're not dying people. A person I, uh, I, I knew pretty well just uh, died recently, a few days ago. Um, and uh, I, I was the one that took her last photographs and I, I took photos of her, uh, of her wedding, which was a really great day and she was beautiful and stunning. And I showed her the photo and she started crying. She said, oh, that's a beautiful photo. And I, like, I got emotional about that because she had only two days to live or she died two days later. She doesn't have time to lie to me. You know, that was true. When people, when they know their time is shortened, they, they become, they become really real. They don't have any time for bullshit. They don't have time to lie, beat around the bush. They, their time is limited, they know it. So that is, uh, it, it, it is an amazing, learningful experience having taken photographs of terminally ill people. That is a life-changing experience, looking back on it now, and it is not extreme. It never been extreme, no. The most important thing for me is just do what I've always been, and just put in maximum effort, just go. Go with it, work at it, work at it, work at it, and just see what happens. If you put in the hours, it will pay out in the end. Don't take anything for granted. Every day is a, is a zero. I took a really great shot of somebody. Uh, next day, new day. I think that the best achievement you can do, I just like to take photographs. You saw me being really happy today, taking two good, photo, good portrait photos and going home. Hey, I told you, my day is good. I, had, I don't have anything else to ask for anymore. If you can be happy, content, and if there's food in the fridge, and I'd be, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fine.